Sam is investigating the paper sizes. She takes measurement and finds that an A0 size piece of paper has an area of one meter squared. The length is 119 centimeters and a width of 84.1 centimeters. When an A0 size piece of paper is cut in half, it is referred as A1 size paper, which has an area of 0.5 meters squared. Okay. This pattern continues uh, as in the diagram below. Now, so let's understand the question. Now, this is this is an A0 size, has got a length of or a width of 119 centimeter and a length of 84.1 centimeter. Okay. So here, this A0, what they're saying is, this A0, let me get my pen, black, okay, yes, it's working. So A0, they're telling us, is, has the dimension of 119 centimeter, I'm not writing centimeter, times 84.1, and the area is uh, the area, so A0, has an area of one centimeter squared. Then if you half it, so A1 is half of A0. So what they're saying is A1 is half the area of A0. Is one is half the area of A0. Okay, A2 is half the area of A1. So if this is say half times A0, A2 would be half, it would be half of, half of A1. So can I say this is half of A1? And what is A1? A1 is half times half times A0. So this is nothing but one half squared times A0. So this can be also written as half half raised to 1 times A0. I'm writing only A0, I'm not writing times here, I don't have the space. So I hope you can see the pattern here. When it is A1, it is half to the power 1 times A0. A2 is half, half squared times A0. So let me do also A3 just to show you the pattern. So A3 is half, A3, can you see from the figure, A3 is half the area of A2. So A3 is half times A2. Now we just saw A2 is half squared times A0. So this is nothing but half times half squared times A0, which is A3. I can say is half cube, half cube times A0. So if you continue this pattern, this I hope you can see the pattern three. If it's three here, it's half to the power three. If it's two here, it's half squared. If it is one, it is half to the power one. Now this same thing can also be written as half times half to the power zero. So I'm not confusing that. So yeah, if you want to write the general formula, a n, any size, n stands for the, the number of the paper number, a0 is the starting, this is a0, this is a1, a2, and so on. So a n, if you continue this pattern, would be half to the power n times a0. That's the general pattern. Now we want to use this formula to find a10. So using that formula, this will be A10 would be would be equal to would be equal to half to the power 10 times A0 times A0, which is of course one meter. So let us uh, put that on the calculator. So this is one half that is 0.5 half is 0.5 to the power 10 times one meter squared, I'm changing one meter squared, I hope you know is one meter times one meter. One meter squared is one meter times one meter, which is 100 centimeters 
times 100 centimeter. So this is something students struggle with. So it's always good to write the conversion. So one meter squared is 10,000 centimeter squared. Okay, it takes doesn't take too long to work this out. It's always good to, you don't need to remember this, but if you only know the fact that one meter squared is one meter by one meter, and then you change one meter into 100 centimeters, that's 100 times 100 is 10,000 centimeters squared. So they are telling us, they have given us the side, the area of A, A0, uh, where is it? So it is one meter squared. So this is what I'm talking about. So one meter squared, I want to write this as a centimeter squared, because that is, because this is in centimeters. So this is 10,000 centimeter squared. Okay, so this would be, so this will be 10,000, 10,000 centimeter squared. So A0, the area of A0 size paper. So let me get the calculator out. So menu run, so I can put, 0 0.5 raised to 10 times 10,000. The area would be in centimeter squared, so it is 9.77. <clears throat> in two decimal places, it is 9.77 centimeter squared. So this is 9.77 centimeter squared and this I've rounded into two decimal places. So this is the answer, or this is the area of a, a 10 size paper. Okay, now the next question is, the ratio, let me scroll that up. So the ratio of length of width of any piece of paper is always the same, the ratio of length to width. Okay, so what's the length to width? Okay, so for A0, a0 size, we know the length is how much? I think it was 119, <coughs> let's confirm, excuse me, 119 centimeter, and the width is 84.1 centimeter. L is 119 centimeter, and the width is 84.1 centimeters. And they're saying this ratio remains the same irrespective of the size of the paper. So we can say L is to W is 119 to 84.1. Okay, so if this implies, if L, if you want to write this as a ratio, if this is a ratio, if L is 119X, your width would be 84.1X would be. 84.1x, 84.1x, and use this information to find the width of the A7 size paper. So let's, so A7 size, let us find A7 size, the area would be half raised to 7 times 10,000 10, centimeters, okay? So that's the general formula. So this is A0, this is the size of, so let me write A7 is times A0, which is the starting paper. So this is 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, <clears throat> my pen starts playing up, so 0 0.5 raised to 7 times 10,000. Okay, so that's one way of expressing it. So I can say the area is, this is one way. A7 can also be written as length times width. Length times width. And we know the ratio of the length is, is 119x times 84.1x. 84.1x. So this is a different way of writing the area. So if this is, this, A, this is not A2, sorry, this is A7. So this is A7, the area of A7 paper in this way, and this is also the area of A7 paper in a different way. Therefore, you can say from one and two, from one and two, I can say 
2 is equal to 1. So I can say 119x times 84.1x is equal to 0.5 raised to 7 times 10,000. So this is, let me use a calculator, one, 119 times 84.1. So it's 119 times 84.1 is 10,007.9x squared. 10,000, I don't remember the number, 10,007, yeah. It's 10,000, 10,007.9. So this is 10,000. 10,007.9 x squared is equal to 0.5 raised to 7 times 10,000. So I'm going to divide both sides by 10,007.9. So I can say x squared is equal to 0.7 or 0.5 raised to 7 times 10,000 divided by 10,007.9 is your x squared. So x would be the square root of this huge number, which is 0.5 raised to 7 times 10,000 over 10,007.9. So we need a calculator. So this is 10,000. This is 10,000. Okay, so let us get the calculator out. So this is uh, 0.5 squared. Oh, sorry, 0.5. So it's 0.5 raised to 7 times 10,000. That's this number and divided by 10,007.9. Gives you this huge number. And that you have to find the square root. I think I'm doing some mistake. I don't know. Root, uh, I think I'm right. So this is, yeah, this is 0 0.0083. I'll write 0 0.0083. Okay. So, so the rounding into, so x is, uh, let me remember the number, 0.00, no, 0 0.0883. 0.0883. So x is 0 0.0883. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4 places. I rounded this to 4 dp. So my width, width in this case, would be how much? The width is 84.1x. So this is, you can, you, you may not round at this stage, you can put this as a number so you can don't need to round so with this 84.1 x so get the calculator so this number oops so this number times uh 84.1 would give you the answer hopefully yeah that's 7.43 that's the exact answer so the width of the paper is 7.43 isn't it 7.43 centimeters so the width of a7 paper, a7 size paper is 7.43 centimeters rounded to two decimal places.